effort is underway to improve marine wildlife along the western Gulf of Mexico. Known as the RGV Reef, an artificial nursery has been under construction off the shore of South Padre Island since 2016. Now, one of the largest phases is about to begin. Alfredo Cuadro tells us more from the Port of Brownsville. What started as a dream for a select few has quickly grown as one of the largest efforts to preserve wildlife along the western Gulf of Mexico. Since 2015, the Friends of the RGB Reef set out to increase fish production off the coast of South Padre Island. Now the group prepares for one of its largest shipments yet. For the next about 45 days, it's going to be deploying concrete railroad ties, reefing pyramids, and cinder blocks to create our largest industrial scale reef currently known in the world. Their goal? To create an artificial reef that will protect wildlife and save them from larger predators. For their next deployment, they're preparing an estimate of 16,000 railroad ties, 64,000 center blocks, pyramids, and more concrete. Well, this is the third deployment uh, over several years that have been done. This is just going to be the most massive. And the project has gathered support from national, state, and local sources, each for their own reasons, whether it's helping preserve wildlife or simply preserving the sport of fishing for future generations. The project has grown and will continue to do so in the upcoming days. Without this habitat, there's going to be no fish. And the main goal behind this and why, why we really do this is for generations and generations to be able to go out and and catch fish. If you go out to the RGV Reef, you can find probably 10 fishermen at a time fishing out there. Before, when we surveyed it, there were no fish, and now there are hundreds of reef patches um, that fishermen can access to go fishing. From Brownsville, Alfredo Cuadros, KVEO, Local 23 News. The project will protect local wildlife and create fishing opportunities for the region. Organizers believe it will also allow researchers to come up with models for creating better artificial nursery reefs in the future.